needs confirmation. Tyson, I wish I had that. I had your brain empty sometimes. It's just like, man, how you know how peaceful my life would be if I was that idiot. We're dating oh, my us. My life would be if I was We're dating that us. Idiot. We're dating my us. life would be if I was We're dating that us. idiot. We're dating my us. life would be if I was We're dating that us. Idiot. Probably getting to the roll twenty, Tyler. I was in the roll twenty. Did I close it again? You might have closed it. But I, 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 well, I unfortunately was claimed by the jaws of Final Fantasy fourteen, and unfortunately had a phenomenal time. Unfortunately, so, that's... I finished. I finished Slime Rancher. Nice. How's that? Augers. Uh... Slime Rancher. Chill as shit. I discovered drones and how cute they are. At the end of the game, Omega Wolf. Taylor has also has also discovered the uh, greatness of carbuncles. I love carbuncles. They remind me of Alex. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, there are fox. Magic fox and too. Smug. Magic fox. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I can see. Uh, uh, and, and unfortunately, uh. Final Fantasy chose the perfect time to go on go on sale. Fifty percent sale. So you know that's just fucking great. Uh, uh, I unsuccessfully attempted to sleep. That's what I did during the month. You got more sleep than that, and you're actually able to catch up on your life outside of online. Kind of. Be be better, <laughs> be better than what you were when we when we started the break. Okay, is that better? Ignore the fact that there are currently no clean plates in this house. That's fine. Uh, the big one year it. happened, and oh, yeah, six months of Tyson discovering. Was that six months? It was almost at six months. It was at like five. Something like that. It was like something like that. Tail DR, Tyson it's been like half a year since Tyson discovered that we were dating. E. I can't believe you got friend zone. I can. Oh, I can. I can. You can? Yeah. You can? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine being friend zoned by your own Imagine. friend. Imagine. Wow, like, wow, they're just being really good friends. Wow, they're just really good friends. <laughs> Look at that, it's good friends at Emerson Taylor. They were roommates. I can't believe and we they were... were roommates. Well, if everything works out, that will in fact be the case. True. Anyway, let's play some fucking D&D, &D, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> so, when we last left off, uh, Rivius Dave. had learnt that there was some Uncle. petty vandalism happening in various places around the city. Uh, Army learnt that the scribes in Atherian are attempting to track down the families of everyone <laughs> of everyone who is now a landed lord and thus to be entered into the Book of Nobility. Maybe a specifically requesting that to notify his family. Uh, for fear for fear of a halfling siege of 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 Eternia. <laughs> Don't, 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 and there's some... To the unsuccessful tracking down of Amiya's parents. For various reasons. And as the... well as the unsuccessful tracking down of Gore's family, because Labyrinth! That's cool. <laughs> you're gonna need fucking, you're gonna need a fucking another Minotaur for that shit. Yeah, you need another Minotaur to And the lack of so... need to hunt down Tyson's parents, because they're dead. F. F in the chat. F. F. 
Texans. Yeah. Texans. So their their work has been roadblocks. Lots of roadblocks. Uh, nothing new. Let's go. The life of the pa the life of the man doing paperwork. We also f we also found out how much money we were making. Indeed, you guys you guys have a bunch of now. I went over and dragged people from Etherian to come teach magic in Eternia. See, you did. You got to get up. They also got roped One into making the, to get up. the trolls, making scrolls of uh, messenger of wind. True. Not to cast it, just to have it on my person. Damage type shenanigans. Use damage types. Funny. Alright. So, as we return to our faithful party in their newly acquired city of, of Eternia, um, it's been about a, about a week of various preparations, negotiations, lots yeah, of all... sitting around, listening yeah. to people complain. But yeah, we also met with the Countess last time. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the the Countess continue, continues to yeah. poke and prod, trying to see if, if she can get anything more out of out of everyone, but uh -uh. not not Helpers. not doesn't get too much doesn't get too much progress in that overall. And I wait, the countess? Yeah, of the place. I forgot the place. Uh, I can just quickly the uh Sybil, oh. the envoy of Aramor. And I believe we also discovered that we had a lead on the crystal mine. That... Yep, the crystal mine continues to be investigated over the course of the next week. They want to make sure that they have a secure path um, that is properly marked, so there's no chance of anybody getting lost on their way there or back. Oh my god! Look at the big tower. People laugh. Um, so, first off, uh, as, as the week continues to pass, uh, a, one moment, a new commotion, uh, occurs at the front gates of the city. As... A large convoy of about twenty car of, of about twenty carts uh, has pulled up to the front gates. Uh huh. Uh, each each cart is covered, so identifying its contents from a distance is difficult. Um. But when. When called at the gate, uh, the a man climbs out of the back of the front cart and steps forward. I present myself to you, good lords, Anzel, envoy from from the Kingdom of Goldcrest, here to here to meet with the new rulers of the city. Sorry, what's his name again? Anzel from the Kingdom. Of gold, gold crest. Um, so, can you give us a refresher on gold crest and their ups and downs? Yes. Uh, moment. Gold crest is ruled by is ruled by King Elliot. Uh huh. It is one of the uh, it is one of the most fertile regions in the in the old. Um, in the pre-fragmented um, uh, Imperium Eternia. Um, with their main notes uh, 
given to you by, um... Hold on. Tara. I need to... His name is Tara. Tara. Yes, Tara. Uh, with the main notes given to you by Tara, the fact that they employ, um, equal opportunity slavery. <laughs> I don't think that's any better. And, um, their main form of punishment for things like petty crimes are things such as public whippings. Didn't they also do... So, corporal punishment is a big is a big part of their punish... It's, it's a big part of their punishment system. Wasn't execution also on there? Wasn't no, that's uh, no, that, is, that is white bridge. Ah, okay. Yeah, they get... They behead... They, 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 do, they do more um, mutilation as punishment. Beheadings, the handings... Yeah, I have a hot treat my might be doing. City of Eternia. Goldcrest. And, uh, he... He stands, he stands outside by the gate. And I bring a gift of goodwill from my lord, King Elliot. Why are you trying to me? Why are you trying to make favor? Better favor? My right, man. What... What does the gift entail? A simple... A simple offering. I under... I, I, I understand that your city is struggling as... as things are, or... War, a siege, and the coming winter. Food must be in short supply here. Well, it is. we bring an we bring an offer of some food from our late from our last harvest. Hmm. We accept. And, um, How the... much is it? Yeah, I guess. Uh, as 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 you ask that, and he gestures towards the carts. Um. One one of the front cart that he was riding in, the tarp gets pulled off, and you can see it is filled with barrels and crates. It is a gift from my lord, no charge. That's a lot of food you got there. Um, how would you? How are you able to procure so much? Well, from what we heard from our good friend, uh, their lands are the most fertile of the of the four close nations. The most fertile and the most efficiently worked. Yes. Why are they so efficient? Simple numbers. When you have lots of people who are capable of working the farms, it makes harvests easier. Results in less of the crop being lost. True. true. Oh, please. Uh, Tanith, come inside. Tanith will, will, will walk Anith. up beside you. Tanith, this Tarith. is Warhammer. Tanith. Anith is supposed to be back in Space Nom. I'm having a good day. Space Nom, let's go. You look so, baby. Yes, they, their fields are worked very efficiently by by their large amounts of slave labor. Ah, I see. Gorge eye twitches. Mm, I see. I'm not just... saying we don't accept the food, but we need to rem we need to remember where that comes from. Dirty. It is their land. Dirty. They are, it is their land. They are fit to run it as they see fit. Even if we do not agree. We're not, try, we're not just we're not, we can... we're not trying to we're not trying to control the world here. Yeah, but it's all... <sighs> Plus this food has already been gathered, there's no way to ungather it. <laughs> but if we do that would be to burn it, and that's a waste. We do need the food. If they're going to be slaves, at least make their work, at least the work that they do, they do perform is worthwhile. Uh, 
could bring up the minimum wage, minimum wage thing over there. At a later date, perhaps. Well, uh, later. Later, perhaps. Fair enough. Alright, but come, yes. let us not stand outside. Come join us in come join us in our cat in the castle. Indeed, I shall have I shall have my men offload offload the supplies into your stores then. And as as the gate opens and um, the carts all roll in, um, you have been gifted um, it would be about one and a half months of food of food in the form of grain and fruit. Alright, so how much does a total make for us for getting us through the winter? That's like um, half. It gets you it gets it gets you through about a quarter of the winter. Well, a quarter of the pre growing season. So and that and with our pre established trade with uh Place. No, not Ethereum. The uh, other place. Uh, with your pre-established trade, that on its own would probably get you through about a quarter to if you're uh, it, with efficient uh, with efficient rationing uh, to to towards a half of your of the winter is covered by the food that you will now have access to. Which helps the city get through. Mm. Um, this might be the other. This might be the other place we trade or have a with. What would they want? Just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Yeah, fair enough. All right, as. As they, as the carts all move into the city, along with uh, with Anzel, um, uh, everybody, give me a quick perception check. Okay. Is it site based? Is it yeah? Those are site based. Yes, this is a site based perception check. So, Owen, you get advantage. Yeah, I look at him. Uh, can I guidance Owen? Uh, sure, you may indeed. Okay. We got guidance, buddy. Nice. You don't D4. need it, but you... D4. <laughs> Break the 30. Like, go ahead. Come on. Damn. No. Kring. Uh, Kring, not 30. Failure. <laughs> Match. Um... Oh, that's a nice Owen... team. Owen, you and Rivius, you both see as the carts move past that um, past the first carts, the second, the second, and all and all the carts back are not only filled with uh, with large crates of food and and uh, barrels, uh, they're also filled with uh, each each cart has about four people in it uh, that look. Uh, that are in disheveled clothing and look quite malnourished. Stop the carts! Hmm? Is there a problem? There's people in there. Yes, the workers who will unload the carts. Okay. They look a little... On the weak side? I don't think they should be unloading the carts. No, they loaded them back at the city and they did fine. We shall we shall assist in unloading the carts to help take some of the strain off of them. We are not afraid we are not afraid to get our hands dirty. If you wish and above your station to be help to be helping to be helping slaves, but Watch your mouth, Anzel. I understand that your city is a is now a free one in terms of its population. 
Indeed. One of my one of my friends is a minotaur, so you better um, as you say, not mince your words. Of course. Thank I you. meant no disrespect, obviously. If you wish to, if you wish to aid them in unloading the carts, it is your, it is your prerogative, of course. All right, continue the carts. And the carts continue along. I'll get some people to help them. I shall start helping them as well. All right. <sighs> um, with the help with the help of Gore, Rivius, as well as gain some of the local employed workers and even some of the guards to help out. Um, Unlaying the cards takes a few hours. Um, one moment. Um, about five hours into unloading, you, you're, re you're starting to reach the, the lost cart, um, and as, as you're unloading the carts, one of the, um, uh, one of the workers from Goldcrest, um, uh, loses his grip on a barrel that he's carrying, and it smashes on the side of the street. Uh, spilling... Um... Spilling a barrel full of, um, of apples all, all across the street. Oh. Hmm. You alright? I'm okay, just... Arms a little weak. It's okay. I'll be okay. Oh. Mm. And as as you you're checking on him, one of the caravan guards uh, comes over. Hey, that food was a gift. Don't go wasting it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. It is okay. Accidents happen. It's part of life. Yeah, accidents do happen in fuckies. Yes, no, there is no, there is no need to hound people. There is no need to hound them. They are probably worked hard enough as is. They worked as hard as they need to be to make sure to make sure the kingdom stays prosperous. I know another kingdom that is prosperous. Apex hey, phrase it. Go, fetch, a, fetch another crate, and if you and if you drop it, you'll be getting the whip. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I need to talk to Anaya. See if I, he can see if he can um before these workers leave, get some food in them. And as the as the man runs off to go and continue unloading, uh, the guard uh, returns back to where he was standing next to the cart with a scowl on his face. What lovely company we have, Tariff. <sighs> Indeed. Oh, um, Tara, at least we're here. Mm, yes. Can you send a message to Naya to feed the to feed the, the gold crest worker? Do her best, to at least. I do her best. I know he's he's busy around this around around lunch hour. Yeah, that's indeed. Um, as. As you ask him to do that, he looks off into the distance for a moment before, before blinking, looking down at you. She'll she'll do the best she can. Of course. I don't I don't need to 
Let me just, you know. Wouldn't do for them to collapse on the way home. Passes. Seems as though they don't get to benefit too much from the harvest that they're that they've been that they've been told to carry, does it? No, Absolutely no, it doesn't. Not. Highly unfortunate. Yeah. Well, well, we do the best we can. We do the best we can, and perhaps, or perhaps reform there. will be seen once the war is over. They are upon they are upon our land, so we shall treat them all like people. Yes, we we can decide how how they get treated here. Indeed. I see, and I'm telling you now, if I if I see one one of them get whipped, I'm I'm having the guards haul haul off the one who does the whipping. You know, being rosy, not so bad sometimes. have an Enzel to talk to. He's probably waiting for us at the palace. Uh, Indeed. Well, he may be able... Once we're able to secure enough food for the winter, we can more or less... We can more or less... Become slightly... Ever so slightly more reclusive. Indeed. I don't know who... I don't... Um, we should probably keep Enzel... Um, far away from the symbol, I think they're gonna, with this attitude, he's gonna, he's gonna get slightly, how you say, upset. Oh, trust me, I've, I have the distinct feeling that en that Enzo and Sobo probably know each other quite well, having been in, having been vassals to the same emperor. And the lot of the the five of you all head off towards the palace, and uh, in front of the palace stands uh, stands Anzel as he's sitting sitting on on a uh, a small chair that definitely isn't one of yours. It looks like he brought it himself. <laughs> Ah, finally, you're back. I trust the unloading went well. Of course, there were no incidents. Excellent, excellent. It's always good to hear. Come, let us let us go inside. I have one more gift that, to be shown to you. Okay. And as you head into the palace in the in the main throne room the area in the center across the uh, defaced uh, symbol of Bane is a large table okay uh -huh. um, that has um, that has 10 seats at it and the table is filled with what could only be described as a feast. Amazing. Incredible. My lord wished for me to show you how how us how us royalty at Goldcrest eat every night. See. See. Reminds me of a friend I used to have. Which one? The sneaky one the or the thing. one I... The thing. Ah, the one the you one missed. I... Yeah, he, the one I... Um... Just missed. Yeah, he just missed. You just missed her. That was an he age would... ago, though. He... he did eat like this, though. Incredible. Must be a paladin thing. <sighs> Might just be a person thing. 
Okay. We were we were we were on the king's tab, of, of, of course. Uh, I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast detect magic, and I'm going to just, I guess, run run over. Not like physically, just look over all the food. Just to see if there's any sort of magic applied to it. Damn, I don't have that- I don't have that fucking... prepared. Shit. <laughs> uh, oh. you look out. Oh. Yes? Oh, you're a ritual. Yes, I'm a ritual caster, but also, this is not really, like, hard book time, so I'm acting as if my spell book is flexible. Oh, no, I'm- I'm looking at my spell list. Yes, you are also- yes, you are also a ritual caster. But yes, poison detection, go. Well, magic detection, go. Alright, so, you look up- you look over the food and everything seems to be above board. Nothing- nothing's giving off any kind of, uh, magical emanation. Aside from, um... Enzel himself, uh, he has two rings that are both that both are giving off a magical aura. Shocker. Um. They shock. They are. But aside from that, there's nothing really magical here that you don't expect. DM, can I take ten minutes to cast that spell? You may. You may indeed. Thumbs up. I hope you don't mind, Ansel. New, new, new work rulers and all. You mind? Oh no, of course. I, I fully expect it. You can never be too safe, after all. Indeed. Especially not since I believe you do have Sybil here in court. Yeah, he does. He did arrive before you. Yes. Yes, we did. We. She. She got first dibs, as it were. Yes, I. I recognize I recognize the smell of her perfume when I walked into when I walked into the throne room. It's very distinct. <laughs> Last anyway. banquet I attended with her did resolve did result in one in one of the emissaries not leaving. Huh. And not in the not leaving ever way, I'd assume. Yes, he's he he has a permanent spot in the local graveyard. Hmm. Unless, of course, the necromancer decides to come up. The necromancer decides to come up, he have bigger problems. Potentially. Could also be a cleric. Could also be a lich. Ah, oh, lich. Haven't, Even... heard, I haven't heard about a lich around these parts in a long time. Ah, it would certainly yeah. be entertaining, wouldn't it? It would. We'd have reason to go, go out and squash something. Mm. Yeah, it's been a while since our last combat. It was simply it was a little over a week ago when we struck down struck down a field marshal. You're hasn't been that long. It's coming closer to two weeks actually. No. It's only been, it's only been just over half a month since we struck down <sighs> the field marshal. It hasn't been that long, all in all. That's fair enough. When you don't sleep your days blur together. I don't, I'd honestly say we had a bigger lull in between the time for the Etherian se the Siege of Etherian. Siege That's against fair. Etherian. That was a fun time, though. Yes, we quite literally summoned a god. Mm, well, we summoned her weapon. Okay, we summoned. Okay, how about this? We, just, we summoned a divine intervention. Better? Yes. I can do that again. I can do that again, though. She probably won't answer this time, though, since they, I'm. Anyways, what's the result from the protect poison disease? DM. Uh, it is clear. There is no issues. Okay. Uh, I'm at. Well, not trying to poison us is already a are, is already a step on the right foot. Start on the right path. <laughs> Only, only a fool would attempt to po would attempt to poison the lot of you, especially since one of you is a Minotaur, and I trust his constitution to be quite formidable. Oh, like oh it is. Poisons. 
Oh, believe me. Oh, my it family is. is also quite stout. I mean, we haven't been poisoned before, but we are quite stout in constitution. Making yes. that ma oh. making that man fail, his constitution fail to resist something is almost a sight to behold. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my I'm sure my lord would like would love would love to have a drink with you then, Gore. He is uh, always wanted to challenge a minotaur. That could potentially be arranged at some point. Could be fun. Could be. Could be indeed. Conflict but... 17 with advantage against poison. <laughs> 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 I have advantage against poison. That man has a, ah. that that man has expe expertise on con saves. What's better? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just have that. <laughs> you rather have advantage? No, I have both. I'm sorry. Oh, you he have both. Not just advantage and expertise. Pa. Empires. Pa is not isn't, isn't Elwin immune? I believe Elwyn's immune as well, so Elwyn's just straight up immune to poisons. And Ami, I think you've got something to resist poison as well, don't you? Uh, you yes. Good con because of amulet. I just, I just have four. I have just have four con because of the amulet. Ah, right. Which is I mean, better than what I could. That's all just... of y'all are actually pretty hard to poison. <laughs> Even from the fact we're all just really obnoxiously difficult to kill. <laughs> True, I exist. And by obnoxious, almost impossible. I exist. Correct. True. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, yeah, I I was like, I just didn't want the poison condition. <laughs> fair. Poison fair, fair. Condition. And it doesn't take an attunement slot, I just have to wear it, so. True. Wait, it doesn't take an attunement slot? Nope. Based. All right, so everybody has a sit down, and you all enjoy a very lavish meal. It's probably the biggest meal you've had. Well, let's for be a good few let's, of you, let's be real, meal you've like ever. ever. Yeah, <laughs> let's be uh, real here. The the only person who's had a meal a meal equivalent to this would be Nervius in the first session of this campaign. Heck W. Heck W. Probably, he probably, I mean, he's still a halfling, though, so, he probably would. Yeah. Second breakfast and all that. <laughs> For a halfling, he doesn't eat very much. He's too busy saving the world. Wouldn't you say that he's always, that he's always munching on something? It's just not relevant, so you don't mention it. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> he is snacking all the time. So he's a true halfling. <laughs> Amongst the jingles, um, amongst the jingles, he is, there is snacks. Amongst the jingles, you hear, you hear the crunch of potato chips. <laughs> that's not exactly, that's a processed food. Yeah, that's a processed food, hun. I mean, you know, frying some potatoes, sliced potatoes in oil. Fair enough. What are the breads? No, we're, we're a, um, we're a... He's a trail mix kind of man. Mm. <laughs> Better mm. nuts. All right, so everybody sits down and has a wonderful meal. Uh, and the extra seats are actually filled by uh, some of the other by some of the other uh, people, including Sybil, who gets her own seat and her own and her own meal. Nice. You made sure to double check that one, huh? You made sure to double check that one, right, Rivius? Yes. Good. Don't need an ambassador dead. <laughs> oh, well, don't yeah. worry about me, uh, Seville says. Anzel here doesn't have the guts to poison anybody. <laughs> he he can't, um, Rivius, um. Hmm. Coughs. Bad. A snicker. But that was mostly me, Taylor. And uh, Anzal replies, "Yes, because because you do 
far too much of that already, Sybil. I don't need to do any of it. Oh, you flatter me too much. I, 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 I simply do what needs to be done. I have never poisoned anyone, though. No, press you'd rather press hire somebody press else X to do it. Press X I'm not to doubt. I'm not gonna inside that, because he's lying. I'm like, hello. I'm about to inside it, just because everybody else. I'm not gonna inside it. Inside it. Do it. Is she okay. is she bullshitting? <laughs> I want I want to I want to know the dead ass truth, po directly or indirectly. Is she bullshitting when she says she hasn't she done is. it? Uh, Ami, even you can tell that she's bullshitting because she's not doing. She's not trying too hard to hide it. Nice. Like, there's a little bit of an attempt to hide it, but she's not trying too hard. You know she can do better. Note to self. Check food she, often. She, clear, she very clearly expects everybody here to know that, she's, that she is likely responsible for people's deaths at the hands of poison. Note to self. Always have to take poison in the zines. Well, I'm so, hold on, let me look at my item, because I know it says, like, You're mean poisoned and poisoned. Okay, poison and poisoned, okay. Yeah, there's a difference between po the damage type poison and the condition poison. And also that there's even still a different kind of poison to that, just because, you know. There's a difference Heck, between in inside and outside poison. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's poison that you ingest. There's poison that you um, can slice that... with. You can I never got the... Okay, stupid question. I never got the difference between poison and acid. Acid will dissolve you. Poison. Acid will. Will... Yeah, poison, poison is. Um... Poison just fucks you up. Acid will dissolve you. Yeah. The... Okay. So, acid is something that is highly well, acidic. Uh, Shocker. Whereas, uh, poisons come in all different varieties. Um, the big thing about poisons is that they... They are enzymes that, are, that, specific, that target specific parts of the body, such as uh, any, any kind of uh, neurological... Uh, poison specifically targets the nerves. Those are the ones that are like that cause you massive amounts of pain. Mm -hmm. As opposed to um, acids, which just burn a lot. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, and you do get uh, poisons that are alkaline based. So they're on the opposite end of the of the uh, the spectrum to acid. Yeah. Wouldn't they just be called bases then? I mean, he's right. Wouldn't they just would be called be bases bases then? No, because the poison is built on an alkaline base. It has a base okay. of alkaline. It isn't itself a base. I see. Lessons! Yes. Lessons with Emps. Are you sure you shouldn't be a teacher? <laughs> he becomes a tutor. I don't involve- that would- that would mean he's gonna play in the trombone. Huh? But um, Huh? Huh? <laughs> tutor. Who's playing the oh. trumpet. Get it? Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the one who- hey, you're the one who said it. Uh, anyways, and as as um as the conversation continues, you see both uh, Ansel and Sybil sort of stare at each other with the with this glare before both of them crack a smile and start laughing. Ah, uh, it has been far too long, Sybil. Yes, yes, it has been 
What? When was the last time we were, we were at a dinner together? I have a, Two, okay, three uh, years ago? Okay, I have a character. I have a question. Yes. Have they banged? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very, very <laughs> subtle. Very subtle, Taylor. Very subtle. Inside check, please. <laughs> I mean... That was not a character. That's, that's ta this is Taylor. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Very subtle. Did I get you there, Panda? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are they I'm making gonna... the eyes? <laughs> I'm I'm having a great time. I don't have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Sad. No pog. But it's fine. No, I'm talking about me. I'm talking about. Oh uh, yeah, the fact that you have to work tomorrow. Sad. Yeah. He has but to it's work okay. tomorrow, it's and also, week, so. it's also he also has to spend Thanksgiving. Wow. With family. Wow. Uh, they've been at work. Not to you. Wow. Contrary, um, contrary to common common occurrence, let's not get too sidetracked. True. <laughs> Anyways, is that a yes or a no, Ams? Uh, that's for me to know and you to find out. Bruh. I can walk. You expected this man to toss something straight up? You're a good one, Taylor. That's fair, he is gay. And, um, as... What? Nothing. Huh? Okay. Okay. As, as the festivities continue and the, the eating continues, um, the, uh, the evening draws on, and after about two hours of slowly eating food and general conversation around the table, uh, Everything is gone. Everything wow. has been eaten. Wow. 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 And Ansel leans back in in his in his chair. By the way, the dining table is part of the gift as well. Your old oh, one yeah. was a bit disheveled. Okay. Neat. We must have to return the favor sometime by visiting. Ah, it would be wonderful. We eat the royal. The royal family eats like this every, as do their guests. Now, I believe. I believe since we are all very thoroughly stuffed, I think. It would be best to retire and resume and do negotiations for future trade in the morning. If that is so your wish. Have a good night, Ansel. You as well, my lord. Now, I bid you all a good night and a farewell. And as as he stands up, um, uh, two of his guards uh, will follow him off to um, uh, off to where he has uh, selected one of his ro a room out of the many that are that are empty throughout this palace. Oh my God. And uh, Civil will stand up as well. <sighs> I hate him. He sounds before like... she, before she wander, before she starts wandering out as well. She, they sound like good. They sound like they, they're great, the greatest of friends, Tara. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they've attempted to kill each other at least once. I'm, I almost expect that they have. Tried to. Simple, almost certainly. Ansel, eh, who knows? He's always been known for a bit of cowardice, but 
He's never been above hiring assassins. Has to get her own hands dirty and do it herself. Respectable. Yes. There was a delegation that that I was a part of for Atherian back when we still tried to have peace with uh, with the Empire. Um, the the that night, the envoy. It was it was actually Anzel's predecessor, the envoy from Goldcrest. Uh, was found dead in his room, his throat slit. Very interesting. Oh. And his room was located right next to Sybil's. Amazing. Huh. Nothing was ever confirmed, obviously. Sybil's still working, but... There's always the suspicions. Of course. Especially since, uh... The cut from the wound was one that I that I've seen before and looked very reminiscent to a dagger to a dagger that Sybil likes to keep on her side that she says is for personal defense. Uh huh. Curved blades leave a very unique pattern. Of course. Of course. But. That's rumors, speculation, and gossip. I I can only relay what what little I know. Unfortunately, it's not all too much. But we we did enjoy ourselves quite the feast. I trust all of you ate ate well. Of course. Mm-hmm. There's lots of paperwork to do again tomorrow, and of course, negotiations with Goldcrest. Of course. On the bright side, unlikely that they're going to try and hide anything from you. Goldcrest is very open about everything that they do. Well, that's nice. It'll be nice to not have to worry about potentially getting swindled into something. That we did not agree to. Yeah, it'd be nice not getting swindled into a military alliance instead of a defensive pact. Indeed. <sighs> but, um, keep your eyes and... open. Uh, uh, but keep your eyes open. We don't need any diplomatic accidents. Oh, trust me. I, I will have... I will have our own guard stationed around, stationed by both of their rooms. Um, if if it is at all possible, I would like for some alarm spells to be set up on their windows, if there are windows in the room. Should be, certainly be doable. Let's try and account for as many possibilities as we can muster. Yeah. Yes, and uh, hopefully the uh, the emperor didn't have too many secret passages. We haven't found them all yet. Not surprised. The entire army vanished. There had to been a, there have to have been a lot. <sighs> and uh Jareth will stand up. He he looks a he looks a little bit bigger than he did before. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I have not eaten that well in a few years. I think I will sleep well tonight. And he will slowly walk off to where he's towards his room. Yo, he waddling? <laughs> he ain't no he ain't no Lalafell. It's me, I'm the Lalafell. I don't think you're quite Lollafell sized. I'm three feet. Stand corrected. We previous <laughs> three feet. But. I, re I retract my previous statement. <laughs> previous is in fact Lollafell sized. <laughs> he do be a Lollafell. Lollafell Paladin. Let's get it. 
No, Lollafell Light Mage. <laughs> yeah, Lollafell Light Mage. Uh, Even though. Lollafell Paladin. Literally anything but a Light Mage. It's actually Paint Tank. Uh, no, pa uh, no, Lollafell Paladin. But not like actual Paladin Paladin. I'm going to reconnect because I can't hear anybody talking. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Gore is warrior. Gore is obviously warrior. I'm Thaumaturge slash Black Mage. Hello. Hello. Can you hear us now? I guess I'm Bard. I guess that's kind of weird, but okay. You're Archer, you're Ar you're mostly Archer. Oh, nice. You're mostly Archer. Also, also, hello, Sora. You nailed it. Did you kill the boss? Gaming. They killed the boss. We killed the gray again. Thank you for it. And thank Rogers. you for the raid, Kobu. Kobu! 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 Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid, Kobu. So sexy of you. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Clearly. <laughs> Today. Aren't you? Clearly. All right. So, as as everyone gets up and uh, heads off to bed, does anybody want to do anything before everybody disperses and heads off to bed? More research. More research. All right. I would like, I, I would like to check the religious district at night. Alright. At nine. At nine. Powered S Powered S get it. <laughs> powered S get it. But, par but also powered skill empowerment uh arc arcana check. So Otters, plus five. Right, give me your plus five, twenty six. Alright. I have noted that. Also starting to divert, also starting to divert, uh, ever some time to making, uh, the scrolls of investiture of wind. So I don't get Otters. shot, so I don't get shot by the school. <laughs> uh, and that, okay. that'll, that's just time. That's just time and money, but I'll subtract the, I'll Global subtract money. the money. I will subtract, I mean, it's not exactly a small amount of money, but I'll subtract the money when I'm not a number from. Yeah, we'll have crafting rules. Rules. Alright. And Rivias, you head out in the night. Uh, important question. Uh, are you wearing your armor? What do you mean you're wearing? I'm wearing my what? Of course you're wearing your armor. Just check making drawer. Good. Never again. <laughs> okay, I'm still DR. Tell me when. Tell me when four work weeks have passed in game, and when eight work, work weeks have passed in game. All right. All right. So, um, Rivia, yeah. so you go. Ooh. Bonka? Sorry about that. I had to switch my headphones. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> this other one's really hard. It's like dying now. I have to buy a new pair. Oh no. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, hopefully you can get get a replacement quickly. Yes. All right. So, Rivius, you you go you go walking through the night on uh, the area that has been marked out to be the new religious district, and uh, at this point, the the first little. The first few tracts of what will be the foundation for the religious district are being laid, as well as um, the surrounding buildings that are no longer being used are, are being knocked down. Nice. Um, as you as you walk through through the area in the quiet empty construction site, um, roll me a perception check. May I guidance this? You may need. 
thumbs up emoji. Fourteen. Fourteen. All right, as you're as you're walking through, um, let me quickly. As you're walking through, you you come to a spot uh, that, uh, from the blueprints, it will be where the the wall for one of the one of the walls for the temple of uh, Saloon will be. And it has got uh, there. There is graffiti scribbled all over the place. Okay. Can I read um, it? You may indeed. Uh, you have eyes of the room keeper. Yeah. It can't. And it can't, it can't it, decipher ciphers though. Unfortunately. Uh, it's not a cipher. It's just. It is simply in. Um, it is in Draconic. What? Um. There, there is next to the symbol, next to a symbol of Bane, uh, the words, uh, the words, uh, death, death is eternal, Bane. Bane is undying. That reads... Of course he's undying. He's like God. What? And, um... Roll me another perception check. Okay. gonna re-roll it? I'm, I'm not gonna re-roll it. Alright, what are you Why? gonna do? What are you doing? It's, it's a 26 now. Amazing. <laughs> no, actually, it's a, that's it's a 3. 23. It's a 23. Alright, so. With a 23, um... Rivius, behind you, you hear a very quiet footfall behind you. Mm -hmm. And as you turn, you see you see a group of uh, six people, all hooded and cloaked. And uh, the one that the one that is in the one that is in the center closest to you has a knife drawn. I see. And and uh, you hear a phrase said, but you cannot understand what it is as it is said in Dracona. Damn. You don't have Elwyn, you know. Damn. And as, as he says the phrase, uh, two of them uh, split off and start running. And uh, he's going to lunge at you with a, with his knife. Okay. Well, hey. Twenty four. With a, with a knife, huh? With a knife, huh? What the fuck good is full play? Oh no, that meat! So, it still hits. Damn. Just because it beats. Meats and beats. 
What the fuck is it? What the hell should we... What the fuck good is full plate if I can't beat a knife? Yeah, what the hell? I mean, isn't a knife technically the only kind of blade you want against plate so you can slip through? No, you'd want a ba it. No, you'd want you'd want something bludgeoning. Well, no, I'm saying if you're gonna, I'm saying if you're using a blade, you want a knife. Yeah, if all you have is a knife, the or all you have is a blade. Board. The one you'd want would be a. Uh... Yeah. Mm. I suppose. Yeah, bludgeoning is obviously still better, but yes, um, a knife was often used as a sidearm to actually slip through the plates and finish someone off. Much easier to get into the uh, the exposed areas in plate with a knife than with sword. That's fair enough. Damn, I don't. Uh, that is eight damage, one poison. That's still one because half of half of one is the one. So it's eight damage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It does not get reduced to zero. Okay. Now that was very rude. Um, and then the other, the remaining three are going to also split it off and run. And uh, you get to you get to act before this one attempts to run away because he cannot he cannot run run away. Uh, well, actually, he's going to try and run away. Would you like to use an attack? Yes. Take a swing. Um. Damn. That I mean, hits. I mean, yeah, he's only in cloak, so best it is it would be it would be ten plus dex. Okay. Uh, uh wrong damage. Well. Alright, as as he as he takes a stab at you, uh, getting getting between your plate and slightly nicking nicking your underarm, uh, he turns and he runs with with the others and you take a swing at his back with your with your mace and you you a clock him on the back. Yeah, with your warhammer, sorry. And you clock him on the back, saying him forward slightly as he stumbles, but he keeps running. Uh, he is 30 feet away with you, from you. Would you like to do anything on that's your action? My, uh, that's my action. Uh, that was your rea reaction. Oh, oh, that was my reaction? Yeah, because it was um, uh, AOP. Oh, it was an AOP, okay. 30 he's feet now, away? Yes, he is 30 feet away. Okay. I'm so sorry. A disorientating spike of psychic energy into the mind of one creature you can see within range, so I can succeed on an intelligence saving no, throw. No, that's my warlock. That's a warlock spell seed. Uh, does this warlock spell DC differ from. Yes, it's charisma based, yes, not wisdom. Yes, because it would use your charisma, not wisdom. You just go get the oh, benefit okay. of uh, Amulet of Devout because you'll make a lull. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the right DC then. Alright, so DC 14 in save. Um, that's, yeah, it's 12, um... Mmm, hold on, that's plus 5, 13, no, plus 2, plus 3, plus 3, it should be 8, DC 18. DC 18? Yeah. Okay, then he, he fails. Should be. Alright, well, yeah, we'll work off that it's DC 18. Yeah. Uh, 
So he fails, and he takes one d six psychic damage. So roll me the damage. I think I want to eb him because you know it's fucked up. <laughs> it should Multiple be blast. Should should uh should be a three d six as a total level. It's more than a lot of. Oh, that's right. kind of yeah. Yep. It's three d six, so two more. D6. Remember your shit. Listen, it's been a while, Alex. Hush. No excuses. Match. Alright, so that Haven't is 11 this... damage. Haven't used this cantrip before. Anger. Alright, so... Uh, you... Can't let you out. Uh, you send, you send a mind sliver toward, towards this man, and as, as he's running, he grips, he grips his head, and he... Stumbles, rolls before gain before gain up and continuing to try and run. Uh, anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Oh, he be, if he make um, not really. That's my action. My bonus. I don't have a bonus action. I'm not spending a spell slot on something that's running away. Someone who's running away. Okay, you're not gonna chase him at all. I mean, I'm gonna chase him still, but I'm not gonna spend. I mean, you're not. I mean, you're not gonna catch up, unfortunately, because uh. Fortunately, yeah, halfling. 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 Short legs. Short legs. He's gonna try, though. Alright, so, Rivius, you, you, waddle, you waddle after him as he, as he runs away. Um, Is there any guards around? No, you came here at night. <laughs> the, I mean, did you, did so an unguarded guard? construction site is what I'm hearing. An unguarded construction site. There's guards here. There's there's plenty of guards here during the day That's when there's people here working on the place. Could still be guards. But as of right now, the construction site has sabotaged. The construction, the construction site doesn't have anything going on at it except for the laying of a bit of foundation. So there are currently no he, night guards stationed here. Before he goes, can he check the foundation? Seems not going to be able to catch up. He would like to check any damage he made that was made. Um, sure. You can give me either a perception or investigation if you want to check specifically where they did the graffiti, or if you want to get a look at the place overall. Doesn't seem like there's any damage done to the area aside from just the graffiti, which can be wiped off. Damn. All right, and as, while you're checking the place, the the person who stabbed you disappears off into off into the distance, uh, running into some. Some dark alleys and uh, disappears. <laughs> All right. Anything else you would like to do here, Revius? No, he would like to come. He would like to go back. All right. Mumble so, about ha mumble about having guards here. Because clearly they're messing with it. All right. So you head out. Um, you head back off to the palace, uh, making a mental note to, to get some guards stationed around the construction site because. Some vandalism is happening during the night. Um, anything you'd like to do once you're back in the palace, or are you just gonna head off, head off to your room? Is does if a guard is around, he would like. Let them know immediately, but if no one else is around, no, there there will be. There's guards around the palace. You can 
Uh, it's not that late. Gore's probably still awake. Hmm. He would like to first tell the guards, and then he would like to tell Gore. Hmm. We definitely do need more guards up there. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. They, they only got one hidden. But... And I did some damage to one of them, but yes, there is, um, there was, I was just checking because there was vandalism when I went to check a night during the day that one time, and then there is more, and it must continue in the night when there is no guards there. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if any of our, uh, friends on the streets have heard anything about vandals like that and we can point us in the right direction. Uh, Purse did mention that there is vandals since she right. was checking on them, but she didn't mention anything, um, in point. Okay. Then we can only really wait for her to find out anything else or catch them again somehow. He did say he was checking an item on them, so... Alright. I just wanted to let you know. He caught me by surprise me, and he managed to get a, get a cut in. That is concerning, <laughs> considering your uh, defenses. Um, Amps, can I... Did, would I have noticed the poison? Yes, you would have noticed the burning sensation of the poison. Oh, so be careful. Um, they're... Um, be careful. Their, their weapons may be... Um, laced. The poison. I'll warn the guards that they must... They should look out for that, then. It didn't affect me too much. But still, they are quite dexterous. Must, but they must. Do, they either got a lucky hit in, or you know. How many were there? Six, but only one attacked. That's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have the guards go anywhere unless in groups of three. I'd like more, but we don't have the manpower. Unfortunately not. Oh <sighs> <sighs> well, yeah. They are they're poison they have poison weapons, they're quite dexterous. They go in groups of six. They oh, they know for conic. Interesting. Their graffiti is in the chronic. They speak in draconic. Of course, I don't know draconic. I can only, um, I can only read draconic because of blessings of leading one bow. But yeah, I should let Elwin know when he's up that there's individuals that speak draconic. Uh, perhaps we can see if any of the pit fighters who are training as guards speak it, and then we can try and have at least one of them with the groups. Yeah. As everyone heads off to bed, um, you uh, Gore, you will obviously set set guards uh, to be on duty to keep the construction site under under watch twenty four seven. Um, 
Uh, unfortunately, due to Draconic, uh, it's not very easy to find people who speak Draconic. Yeah. Uh, it's a, not a widely spoken language around Alarian. Mm-hmm. Um, you are able to find a couple of people who have a basic understanding of Draconic, and you assign them as you assign them to pop some of the guard patrols, but there's going to be lots of holes yes. in that in that regard. <coughs> yes, I was going. To, <laughs> I was going to tell you later, Elwin. You were okay. Okay, <laughs> that I'll uh, tell you, Elwin, while Gore gets the guards ready. You know, informed. Yeah, well, we we should t we should tell the um the people that actually know Dragonic, you know, the other half of the party. Like a lol. Actually, knowing Draconic in this economy. Actually, knowing Draconic in this economy. Please. Well, well, Agora tells. Uh, um, okay. Gets so. the guard ready. We'll let you deal with the others. Yes, Rubius will get up out of bed after packing himself up because I don't know if he doesn't need to sleep. And everyone, he waits until everyone's awake, or right? so. He probably goes to Elwin first because Ami is not in the morning. Oh well. <laughs> she stays up tonight, all night, reading. Yes. Oh, Elwin, um, I was, uh, I already told Gar, told Gar, but I was, ex I was investigating the religious, you know. And, um, first of all, I found, as I was walking, I found, a group of six people hooded, cloaked, and uh, before that, I found someone. I found graffiti, graffiti that um, and he starts explaining about the incident yesterday, and um, he's like, "So I don't know your con, but these vandals clearly know your con, and they're working for some babe because I did see his symbol." I don't know Draconic. If you don't mind. I see. I can, you know, stealth behind, you know, stealth. I, I know can you hide can't. in shadows. I know you can't stay the entire night. It would be nice to have half of the night. Y yes, I will join you. Um. Oh. get a message to Purse. Okay. He, ha he, he knows how to contact her since she is she is someone who, ha who had the potential offer of Spy Moss to put forward. So he knows how to get in co contact with her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get Tariff message as Purse and Gaz actually and then he goes maybe I should go find, see if Ami's a because we discovered that she is not a morning one. <laughs> oh, or at the very least, she doesn't like being woken up by a thaumaturgy shouting mage. <laughs> <laughs> so is he awake, Alex? More than likely. 
I never I never did get the results on my Arcana check. What are yeah, the results? They're, they're noted down. No, no, nothing as of yet. No, no new discoveries as of yet. Good morning. You will knock on the door, on Ami's door. Come in. You will come in. This place is lively. What, what, what have you been doing here, anyway? Researching. Practicing. Oh, yeah? Same old, What's same old. You obviously came. You can't. You obviously came to talk about something. So out with it. Oh, I was uh, investigating the um, religious district. There's there's vandals like said. They do draconic. I don't know draconic. One of them stabbed me. Amazing. I succeeded, which was incredibly amazing, honestly. Considering he points at himself. <laughs> Incredible. Oh yeah. Um, I was just wondering if you could. Um, I was just wanting to let you know because I don't know if you're comic, and if I could. Um, but yeah, I already told Elwin he um, he was going to go on patrol. So I just wanted to let you know. because I again. I Probably. Because I did see a um, symbol of pain there. Anyways, I'll leave you to your studies. Okay. And then move on as well, um, Donald. Off. Previous waddles away. He waddling away. All right. Um, Ellen. Yes. Could you please give me a survival check at advantage? What's that for? Nice. 21. Yeah, I was saying, I don't know why I rolled twice, my bad. That's all right. Uh, 21. So, with a 21, um, uh, Elwin, one of the scouts gets back to you, and they inform you that they have found and secured a path towards the, towards where they suspect the crystal mines to be. I will I thank them and then I will report this to Ami immediately. Alright. So um the crystal mines are about a half a day's journey to the north of the city gates. So, not that long if I use Whiplock, XW. <laughs> LOL. LOL, Lamel. Um... And the scouts have set up a small, a small recon outpost uh, outside, just outside the entrance to explore the mines. Nice. And make sure that everything is safe and secure for um, mining operations to begin once more. Okay. 
Uh, is there anything you would like to do with this information today, or are you going to wait? It's probably smarter to wait. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to report this to Ami, and then... I guess we'll both decide when... Thank you All right, the... so Owen, you report. No. Go ahead. No. Oh, you, you, no, no. I was just gonna say Owen reports to army. Thank you for the. Th to... th thank you. For, thank you for the information, Owen. When would you like to act on this information? <sighs> it depends on what we do have to do. It depends on when we have free time. Because we we have to negotiate with uh, the man whose name I can't be bothered to remember currently. Enzo. Uh, I'm choosing not to remember it in character because I'd because I'm doing more interesting uh, things. True, fair. Ami does have ADHD after all. First off, that's first off, that's fucked up. Sec <laughs> first off. Second off. <laughs> and we have to deal with the fact of We just have to deal with the line, huh? Now I have to. Now, we also have to, we also have. I also have to sort out uh, compensation for the mages, the teachers I've dragged with me back to here, so that we can start teaching people magic. So we can catch each other when next we're. I don't have anything particularly pressing, but I would potentially like to. Have that sparring match with Gore. Hmm. Maybe we could do. Maybe we could do it as a way to as a spectacle for the ambassadors. Hmm. Could be fun. But yes, that will be all, Ellen. Thank you for the information once again. You're welcome. I will let you know if any other. Interesting arcane subject indeed, come up. Indeed, because with the power of Windwalk, we shall be there uh, in a very short amount of time. Uh, because a friend of ours, a friend of mine, did the math. You can travel 545.8 miles in the full duration of Windwalk, and that's assuming, and that's assuming uh, your action dashing repeatedly. Speed. A very fu- Oh, 545.45 miles to travel in 8 hours. It wouldn't walk. So about 800 kilometers. Yes. Uh, walk <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. Amazing. Da -da. <laughs> yes, because 600 feet. Yes, because 600 feet in the span of six seconds is a uh, pretty damn fast. <laughs> so yes, travel All time right. is more of a, is more or less a joke now. Pog. Poggers. Poggers. <laughs> travel time is uh, so last year. Uh. All right, so as as uh, Elwyn leaves Ami's room and Ami wraps up her research for the time being, um, uh, court is in session with uh, with Enzel uh, looking to offer the a trade deal from the Kingdom of Goldcrest. All right, so next day now. Yes, this is officially the next day. Hoggers. Good morning, my lords and lady. First of all, good morning to you too. Second of all, I suppose we should get down to business. Indeed we should. Negotiations okay. must, must be concluded for the facilitation of trade between our two between our two nations. So as as we've been brought to as been brought to our attention by uh, Tariff. You have the most fertile and well-worked nation of the four. Now, from what you know that we have to offer, what are you looking for? 
what do you look for in return? For lack of a better word, people. Nero, my, my lady. It is quite simple. We wish the offer of trade for work. Define. Paid. Labor. Define. Please. I would like clarification. The, the fields are, all, are always growing, and the fields always require more people to tend them. We, we request that, that, tho that those whom you do not need in your city come to work at ours. Would they be paid and... Would they be treated? Would they I be would treated hope... fairly? Because they're guests of your city? Well, of course. Four stairs at the man. <laughs> and I well, hope that is they, not enough. They, they, um... will be they will be treated as, as equals amongst all our workers. Well, um, excuse me for being cautious that, um, the tr how you treat your workers hasn't exactly been stellarly, st stellarly represented so far. And we wouldn't want to send our citizens to a place that treats them badly after we release them from Yes, after we just, tyrant. after, yes, after we just got them out of tyranny, we wouldn't exactly be wanting to send them back into tyranny if you forgive our hesitation on such a deal. Understandable. As I stated, you it is known that you are now a free city, and your people expect different things now. Well, to, well it is more that we expect, and our, our, and our people are coming to terms with newfound freedom. We don't more want to break that others. trust, don't you? Don't you know? Then I offer a different trade. What do you feel is adequate payment for the yields of our crops? What would you? What other than than the offer mentioned on the ta on table deal? What do you think would potentially be payment? All of our resources are op All of all of the things that we can potentially export are on the table. Even the iron mines, although be aware that a third of them haven't already been claimed by a third of the exports of our iron mines have already been claimed by uh Sibyl. Sibyl. Uh, yes, the Duchy of Armor. Yes, the Armor didn't as I as I've said before, the Armor did get first dibs. Indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Knowing, knowing that, we may, I, I may, if I may, I will offer, heartfeltly, an extension of trade, the continu the continued trade of our, of our food, enough to get, to get your city through, through the winter and more. Uh huh. In exchange, we, cl we claim. I, I wish to lay claim to the rest of your traded iron. So 70%. I think Indeed. 60. Yeah. Or 66, but yeah. I mean, yeah, 66.6% yeah. repeating all that. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. 66, 66, 66, That is. That is a big amount. You are. Um, you are the largest of the four kingdoms, correct? And aren't Indeed. You current Aren't you currently, um... And... What was it? Sibyl said that you were trying... That you all were aiming to try and... You were aiming for a war of expansion. Were you not? I have not been informed of any such war. Am I saying that? Am I? What, did I remember correctly? He did, he, did men he did mention about something. I mean, is he gonna admit to starting oh, a war? Oh, yeah, he, we talked her down to a third of the iron export and personal intervention from us if this fucker decides. If this uh, fucker is king, decides. Well, according to. According to Sybil, and for what we could tell, she was actually telling the truth for once. 
shocker, I know, that your king is in relatively, as relatively, as <sighs> distant or non-distant plans of a war of expansion against the Duchy, the Duchy of Aramor. And I must, I would, I in good faith, I, I in good faith explain that we have signed a per, we have signed a, we have signed a deal that if such a war to break out, we would pers the four of us would personally intervene in the Duchy's defense. Ah, uh, yes, your defense, your defensive alliance. Sibyl was talking to me about it this morning, over tea. She almost, she almost swindled us into a military agreement, but we caught her. Well, we caught her out to dry. She wasn't very happy uh, about that. He, he lets out a sly smile. Mm, sounds like the Sybil I remember from years ago. Good to know she hasn't lost her touch. Oh, maybe she has lost a little bit, considering you spotted it. Uh, goes with the, comes with the territory of being a wizard. You have the you keep an eye out for the finer details. Indeed. Well, despite your defensive alliance, I still know know nothing of my lord's intent to, to expand the borders at all. But obviously, I'm not told everything my lord wishes to do. Well, in, in, consider that a gift. Since consider that a a gift of information. I still may. request that, for the purposes of yes, for the purposes arming between our us too. properly, as well as well as facilitating prosperous trade between our two countries, that the remainder of that the remainder of your traded iron be be going to the kingdom of Goldcrest. Hmm. So we talked, we talked her down from, we talked her down to thirty percent or thirty-three percent. Thirty percent. He wanted half. Okay. I, think, I believe he wanted half. Yeah, I believe she wanted half, and we talked her down to thirty percent, thirty or thirty-three percent. We could talk him down to like. We could probably talk so him down a little bit. So question, imps. Uh, point of order, imps. Yes. What? Um. Is this iron this is iron required to maintain our forces, correct? Or no? Uh I imagine that so he's specifically saying you're traded iron, so Yes. I imagine that you are in fact keeping some of the iron back to maintain your own. Obviously. Forces. Obviously. Okay, I'm just correct. making sure that that's yeah. so this, we're this not is, getting this hoy. Is the iron, yeah, this is the iron you are offering on the market. We're not getting we're not getting hoy forward. Where we're export focused, so eighty percent of our bullshit goes out to other, goes out to the market. Keck W. So yeah, you will you will maintain iron iron in 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 quantities that are sufficient to maintain your your armed forces. Mm -hmm. Seventy is a lot. Would we potentially? Would we potentially knock you down to 60% of our iron? Hmm. In, ex Six in exchange that, in exchange for... If you ever have outside problems that are not related to warfare, should the need arise, we will personally intervene. I was... At our... I... Speak, Ellen. Never mind, sorry, that's... that's... Tyson speaking, never mind, go ahead. Well, Tyson, no, speak, what? motherfucker, speak! Speak, motherfucker, speak! That's go ahead. Pull your gun. It's like a bad idea. Uh, we no. can't promise to be everywhere, you know, everywhere. Well, should the need... Should the need arise. Okay. 60% 60 and should anything that serve a... That isn't related to warfare serve a true threat to your kingdom or its people. The proposition of us personally intervening would be on the table. I mean, we've done a lot of bad ideas, Tyson. Um, me and Alex <laughs> have nearly died what, multiple times at this point. Um, we also summoned God. Um, For example, should a lich pop up if within your kingdom and you are hard pressed to defeat it. 
Uh, you shall call upon us and we shall vent venture out to deal with it. Stuff like why that. Would they, why would they summon the lich? I don't- well, the liches are fucking weird, you know? I'm not saying they're gonna summon one, should one show up. No. People are bad. <laughs> so, suddenly the lich is ransacking the countryside. Oh no, we need help! Check w. Help! 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 help. In, in, a hmm. in, in lines along that. Hmm. Sixty percent. Uh huh. Your agreement to personal intervention. And I will read and we and, and we want a ten percent share 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 of your of your clay mines. Your clay what? Mines? Clay right. mines. Oh, uh, I'll, I, I think that's a good, good one. I think that is perfect. Just to reiterate. We are. We will not be. We will not. We will not intervene in any sort of military, military action. We will not. Sir, we will not intervene in your favor in any sort of military uh, action towards other kingdoms. Only in the defense of your nation from outside forces that aren't military. I understand. Just making that absolutely clear. Do we have a deal? I think we have a deal. Rivia, Score, Elwyn, do you think this is like? Do you think these are acceptable terms? These are acceptable terms. Yes. At this time, yes. I wasn't really on down for the sending our citizens to a foreign kingdom after, even yeah, so much too soon after we just liberated liberated them. Yes, that's why. That's why we. Yes. Yes, for me, that's fine. Didn't do it. I was just, I was just saying. Excellent. Then, Tanith, I believe, I believe you and me have some paperwork to do to make sure that this agreement is formalized properly. Tanith has a lot of paperwork to do, dude. When doesn't he have a lot of paperwork? Um, when he's trying his to hand, get that. His hands are like permanently covered in ink. He has no scales there, only ink. I mean, don't really have scales on your hands anyways. Well, actually that's a lie. Does, it, does Tanwin not have, not have scales on his hands? No, he does. Tanwin, Tanwin has a few. No, Alex's character, Tanwin. Oh, not Tanwin, sorry. But my brain dying. Names. They both start Lots with a T, and they have their those both start with T A. And no, T A N. They both start with Tan. Oh my god. No, um, Terith is spelled T E R I T H. Close enough. Dab. I say dab. <laughs> English is cringe, okay. anyways. True. Uh. Uh, forces related for and my guy freaking backpedaled it. <laughs> my guy just will... freaking backpedaled. I will be back in a moment. He heckin' that pedal. He was like, yo. I'm out. I'm not gonna pursue this line of work. Line. Or get stabbed. <laughs> End up on the decorating gore's horns. There's a small chance that walking down the stairs will trigger a QTE. 
Have fun, Taylor. I don't. <laughs> I don't live with with stairs anymore. Wow, oh, excellent. You are spared from Not QTE it. hell. Let's go. Another kingdom, too. We don't have enough people. We don't have enough manpower to take over another kingdom. Nor do I want currently want to take over another kingdom. He wants us to free the people of Goldrace. Believe me, I'd love to, but also a lot of fucking effort. Yeah, I do it again. Hello. Hello. Alright, so... As uh, Tarith and uh, Anzel uh, hit, step down to uh, start writing up the contract that will be signed by, by the four of you. Um... Uh, uh, purse comes, comes walking into the, um, into the throne room. Ah, purse, hello. Ah, I believe you were looking for me, Rivius. Oh, yes. Uh, do you have any updates on those fans that you've mentioned? Ah, yes. I was actually busy organizing a report for you, for uh, for you and Woodrow, uh, when I received the message from Terrace. Oh yes, I got stabbed yesterday. I believe so. Are you all right? No, no permanent damage. Oh yes, it, is, it takes a lot to take me down with multiple these days. Yeah, uh, very good. They're, they're pretty dexterous though they went through they actually got a nick in hmm. well yeah i know it's just like they were uh, around the religious district as well so mm. um that that does fit with some with some of my reports so oh let me let me give you a rundown of what of what we found so and uh she she comes up to the up to the throne uh, to be able to talk to you more privately. Mm -hmm. So, it seems as though there's some dissenters still in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to be quite organized. So, at present, I'm thinking possibly some remnants of fighting forces. They knew Draconic, and they follow Bane, so... Mm -hmm. They knew Draconic, that might mean that they have some higher-ups as well. <laughs> they knew Draconic, they knew, um, they were pretty dexterous, their graffiti had the symbol of Bane next to it, and one of them said, the graffiti, I didn't know what they said before they attacked me, but the graffiti said, um, death is eternal, Bane is undying. So, definitely some sort of. How you say? Hmm. We haven't been able to translate any of the. Um, any of the other. Uh, graffiti that we found, but I did. I did notify some of your guards and they copied it. Oh? Okay. So, hold on. And she reaches into a bag and she pulls out about five sheets of paper. Okay, so what did they say? What do they say? Um, and on them uh, is written in kind of sloppy. Uh, you, uh, Elwyn and Ami, you'd be able to tell that it's 
sloppily written, clearly by somebody who doesn't know the dialect. They're just copying what they see on a wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the three of us can read this, while we? Well, you see, one says, um. Uh, though the city burns, uh, though, though the city burns, the fire in our hearts is brighter. City burns, the fire in our brighter. Um, another one says, um, Uh, the return of our, the return of our Lord will mark will mark the will mark the end of oppression. <laughs> return of our Lord. Even though they're literally oppression. Uh, the third one says. Um. <sighs> um hold on. Uh sorry, I lost. Uh the third one says on on the wings of black death my vengeance will be heard. What is this command and conquer bullshit? Particularly particular particularly hateful, I see. Well, on the wings of death. Inspired, it would seem. On the wings of death. On the wings of death. My my, what was it? My vengeance will be will be inspired. Vengeance will be. Um, and the fourth one says. Um, um, from the darkness, from the darkness, the pit shall rise once more. The pit? Yes. The pit shall rise once more. Back to the pit. And Back then to the, the fifth pit. one. The fifth one, you can, the three of you can read, but it makes no sense. And Lux of the Cypher. Oh, well, what can we make out of it? Wait, can't I, the Rune Keeper, no, like, can, no, I, the Rune Keeper? No, it specifically, no, it specifically states it cannot break through, it cannot break ciphers. Yeah. Um, yes. It cannot bit, cheat uh... ciphers. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it, I thought either Rune Keeper like you could read intent or something. Oh no, I can only read the language. You can just read the language. Yeah. You cannot. Just, you cannot protect. Well, I mean the. I mean you can gleam the intent from just reading. Like obvious, most of these so far are just. Hey, I'm edgy. I'm edgy shitlord number four twenty sixty nine. Four twenty sixty nine. Got you. Got the you. Got the lowercase. You got the lowercase x, the cap, the xx, x, 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 canes, canes number one, xxx, x, x. <laughs> no, underscoring, x, 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 x. Oh, so it is totally Ems's brand. That's cool. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Because, <laughs> as you said, this is in fact some Command and Conquer bullshit. Yeah, this is some fucking. So he, bo he, bo he probably ripped it off from Command and Conquer. TM. He's been playing oh. Command and Conquer lately. Go figure, huh? Anyway, moving on. I'm wounded. Yes, no, you're fucking Lord, not. You, wait, uh, yes, Edgelord. I am. You like Kane. You're by default an Edgelord. I can leak your email off stream. <laughs> 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 wow, that's bullying. Wow. That's wow. the first time I've ever that's the first time I've ever heard that one brought up. Hey, can you link that? Hey, can you do that? I just send it to me. I think it'd be pretty funny. I don't. I'm, I'm I curious don't know, now. I don't know the actual num 
It's like, I don't know the actual numbers, but it's something. It's something. <laughs> it's something incredible. Incredible. But yeah, so it's like, he sends me the documents, right? And I'm like, You almost huh. said something very different. I was, was like, what the fuck? He sends me documents, and I'm like, huh. <laughs> I see, this is your email? And he's like, yes, this is my email. I'm like, I'm not any better because my email's... Also incredibly edgy, but not as bad as his. My email wasn't made by me, so I didn't also, get a chance to make email, it edgy. It's not my email that's edgy. It's my old. It's my old Steam username that's edgy. No. Oh, I oh I can just go direct and look at that. Because Steam does this wonderful yeah. thing of keeping your nicknames. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. My my email is literally just my name. No, it used to be your Google Docs. I saw my email. Anyways, Anyways. Get back on track. Also, I yes, Panda, this is just bullying. This is just bullying. I do this all this the time. Is, this is just, this this is is just my life. This is normal. Don't worry about it. Alright, so. Uh, Sorry, what, what you did? Fifth... Sorry, okay, go ahead. The fifth one? Uh, the first one, what you, what you can read from it is, um... Uh, one moment. I have a thing here. Okay. What you can glean from it is, um... It seems to be some sort of... If if your theory is correct about a, about it being a cipher, it seems to be some sort of substitution cipher. That uses the previous the previous um, graffiti messages to translate the the latest one. Incredible. Um, but you don't think you have all the pieces yet. You feel like there's a like there's one maybe two um, parts of the cipher that are missing before you're able to translate it. All right. So okay, then what? can we translate so far? Uh, as of present, just a few random- just a few random characters, no proper words yet. Dang. Thumbs up. Alright. up. Elwyn. Yes? Can you please roll me another survival check? Without advantage. Alright. 25. Alright. So. You get um, as your Um, continuing to do your uh, stuff, brain. Uh, as you're doing paper, doing some uh, checking of uh, scout reports while waiting for the uh, the document to be drafted up, you you have a report that came from the the mine outpost. Um, they've secured the for the entrance to the mines. Um, and they say the mine appears to go quite deep into the mountain. Um, and it would likely take several days in order to explore the whole place. It seems as though uh, extensive mining has been done of the area. Do we know if things have moved in? Uh, as of present, they have not been able to determine that, but they are 
they are being cautious to find out if anything has. Okay. The mine has been excavated extensively? Yes. I'm not surprised. There is no news Wouldn't it be funny for an owl bear to sing? <laughs> it won't be funny. It's not funny. Also, I can confirm Emsis old steam name is in fact edgy as fuck. Yes, yes it is. I know, eh? Like, depra- like, cringingly. Cringing to yeah. see levels of edgy. I was 13. You know what? Fair enough. I told you, I- When I first saw it, I was like, man. 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 You know That's better. Like Yes, exactly. I, also, I'm not it's the only one who makes better. email. It's only, a t it's only mildly better. Oh yeah, you uh, have my email, Alex. I do. Incredible. Yeah. Anyways. Alright, so. Anyways. Uh, one moment. Alright. So. Does any of it make any sense? A couple, a couple, a couple one-off characters, but as far as I can tell, no full words. Oh, and could you bring up Sojourn just on the off chance he could make sense of it? Uh, I don't think he works like that, but yeah, I'll summon Sojourn. <sighs> Never hurts to make sure. I don't think Sojourn can read. I wouldn't no, he can, be able I think to. He can. Why wouldn't he be able to? He's a spirit. Know. He's a dragon spirit. So I mean, yeah. So and we've already, and it's already been kind of well established that our some of our features don't work exactly what we tend to do, but that's because it's more fun this way. Yeah. Uh, as as Sojun uh, materializes next to Elwyn, he just he just sits there and says, "I can read quite well, thank you." <laughs> See, told you. No reason for him not to be able to read as well as, as, well as the rest of us. I can only speak uh, in Draconic, I don't think in the Ruby's He says it, anyway. <laughs> but only Elwyn and Ami can understand him. Sojourn says he can read he can read quite well. My apologies then, Sojourn. And uh, Sojourn looks over the documents. Aside from the ramblings of what appears to be some sort of fanatical madman, I can't really make anything useful out of it. No, I was just making sure. Didn't. You wouldn't overlook well, something that you could decide they, Clearly they have some intelligence behind them, considering the fact that they have created a sophisticated cipher that requires multiple parts. Which probably just leads more credence to them being some sort of organized movement. Because no one off, no one off vandal, no, no one off vandalizers would make light of this. Indeed, unless they had a very particular kind of vandalism in mind. Of course. I, thank you for trying, anyways. He 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 lingers on on I believe it was the yeah the third one. A little bit before he before he turns away calling something the wings of black death is a very interesting phrasing of course it is do you think there may be any actual significance behind it of as as of your knowledge well unless they somehow manage to have a black dragon i don't think it i don't think it'll overall mean too much but so, potentially more symbolic than anything. Potentially. Here's hoping. 
I would not have to. I would not like to have to deal with the black dragon. Three. Well then. Uh, and uh, purse. Purse look. The, the moment Sojin appeared, Purse has just been staring at him. Oh, that's no, uh, that's Sojourn. It's, it's it's not the first time I've seen him, but I still can't believe it. <laughs> never, never, never quite registers. It never quite registers that there is just a dragon just there. I mean, he's not quite there, but close enough. He's not all there. Not physically, anyways. Still got a bit to go. It's the first time I've ever seen one. I mean, I've seen paintings of them. See, it's the first time that many people have seen dragons. Especially given that their current not then, great reputation. There was the, and then there was the whole incident back, out, back outside the palace during the siege. Yeah, with Bahamut crashing the park. That was something. I uh, I didn't see much of it because I am not I'm not I'm brave enough to admit that I'm a coward and I ran away. That's fair. Moment I heard that roar, I I booked it. But, uh, I heard, I heard that there was a lot of fire. Yeah. Go figure, huh? Go figure. Let's, uh, let's hope he shan't be glad. Let's, sh let's hope, uh... Let's, go, let's hope his presence shan't be needed. Anytime soon. The Might of Dragons is not... Not... Something to be trifled with. Mm, indeed. Hi! I hope I never have to see an actual dragon, though. No, no events. I mean, he is an Mr. actual dragon. Mr. Spirit Dragon. I meant, a, like, a physical, living, breathing, I mean, going might... to eat me whole dragon. Not all of them will hit you on all on sight. Some of them are actually quite friendly. A little patronizingly friendly, but friendly, friendly nonetheless. I'll have to take your word for it. Weren't you going to visit a dragon? Yes, I was about to say that he, uh, at some point, intend to seek one out. That oh, wonderful. is wonderful. I'm not going with you on that adventure. <laughs> that's all the way, that's all the way down in the bright forest. I wouldn't, we wouldn't dream of taking. You I'm on definitely not going with you on that adventure. <laughs> exactly. We wouldn't yeah, take you, not, and we wouldn't take you bring... even if you begged us. Yeah, we're not bringing some. I, you're, we're not bringing you into the bright forest. So, we'll, we'll tell you about it, and we'll potentially bring you pictures, but that's about it. Unless we decide to, I don't know, start, start use attorney as a, as a starting point to make make peace with dragons, and start to fix the reputation of them. But... So, so John will just pipe up and say, oh, I mean, I don't think they'd mind, at least most of them. <laughs> Of course, I'm sure that they're just as tired of being hunted on sight as the rest of us are. I then. Yes, I'm certain. I'm certain there are red dragons out there that would like to just go back to pillaging the occasional farm instead of actively being hunted all the time. I'm sure, they're, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. I'm sure, they would like. But yes, have you? I have, I have, I have considered over the past several weeks, and I shall, and the offer of my master remains open to you. You are, would not be required, I will not require you to, to inform your family, or would I seek to inform them. Well, overall, that's all I ask. I, I don't need to 
go back there. Freedom is something we promise, and freedom is something we provide. And your free and the freedom of your choice has been provided. Well, if that's the case, I will happily accept being your spy monster. Let's go. Pod. Covertly, of course. I of course. Imagine you wouldn't want it to be known that you have a child working for you. Oh, Ellen will be the public spy master. I was screaming a half. <laughs> ah. Hello, Roaster. Alright. Why is she screaming? I don't Cat. know why she's screaming. The cat. Yeah, she's, she's a turtle. She's tortoise. Yeah. She's I'll be right back. Girl. My dog's going crazy. <laughs> oh. It's because of the cat? No, it's something else. Not something else. Alright. So, as as Purse gives gives you a little bow, she's going to uh she's gonna go off and inform Tar Tarith about about her new position so she can get everything that she needs uh, provided for her. And as as she leaves, uh, in walks, well, Tarth and Anzel. And as Purse walks past Tarth, she's going to pull him down and whisper in his ear quickly as he runs off. Um, the two of them will come up, will come up to the pedestal. For your review, my, my lords and lady, uh, much prefer writing, writing up negotiations with the person we're negotiating with, because it means I can ensure they don't try and slip anything in. Excellent. But, obviously, good for you to double check as well. Of course. Investigation checks. They pog. I'm. That's an acrobatics. Oh, uh, <laughs> there oh, there's, there, oh, there's the 29. Omega Omegable. Oh, Omega Oh, 19. I like, I like the guidance, my. Investigation. Alright, so. I'm guiding it anyway. Oh. All right. So, uh, checking over the document, um, everything seems to be perfectly in order. Nothing stands out to you as being hidden away or hidden between the lines. Everything is laid out in plain, in plain, quote unquote, political language. Um. But yeah, you will provide. Uh, sixty percent of your iron mines, uh, of your iron mine trade. Um, it was what was five percent of your clay, and your services in non-military campaigns. Should the need arise. That's right. Sounds right to me. Then all I ask is for, is for your signatures, my lords, and I will take this to and I will take this to my lord to be signed. As well. Now I will say is that we, I am planning a uh, sparring match between me and Gore. In the coming weeks it should take place after the other two arrived and made talk with them. If you would huh. like to come with that and see the path and see the duel between the two, two of those present when we felled the king, 
the uh, the tyrant's right hand. Yes, that sounds wonderful, actually. <laughs> I think I'll take you up on that offer. Excellent. They can see firsthand, you know, how good of a deal they've gotten. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. They won't get to see the other two, but the other two have probably proven themselves on the fact of, yeah, we're alive. You're alive, <laughs> more specifically. You're alive, more specifically. Hmm. All right, so. He gives you a bow. I happily accept that invitation, and I'm sure, and I'm sure my lord will be happy to know that that the pits are reopening. It was always a favorite of his whenever he visited. Well, those who shall be in there will now be of their own volition, and not uh, by sentence. Then a good fight is good fight. Be higher for some entertaining fights. If you provide a good fight, my lord will enjoy it, regardless of regardless of who is doing the fighting. Oh, believe me, we intend to put on a good show. Excellent. No show. Sure. We may be comrades, but there shall be no quarters fared. That is just an insult to both of our both of our, to both of our strengths. They're kind of terrifying in their own right. <laughs> Then I bid you, I bid you a good day, and I will send this, send this mister off to my, off to my lord to be signed by him. Excellent. And he gives a bow and walks out the. Walks out the throne room. All right. How long until how long until the next uh, ambassador or envoy, whatever you wish to call them? The next one should hopefully be here in the next in the next few, in the next. And he gets out a schedule. He's already been delayed twice, but we're hoping he's here by the end of the week. Why is he being delayed? <sighs> Apparently, scheduling issues. His one of his carts had lost a wheel. Bandit raid. They've been having some issues over there lately. Possibly something that we could use in negotiations, actually. They've been having lots of stability issues oh yeah over, over at the free city so possibly something we could use to our advantage so what is tell us about right about the free city again uh, white bridge probably yes. out of everybody here probably the one that i trust the least and that's mm -hmm. saying something that's well we've seen civil yeah, that's impressive. Basically, they have some of the harshest punishments for any kind of crime. Mm -hmm. With them, with a policy of the punishment must fit the crime. With that, with that extension being, a thief loses their hands. Someone who run, someone who runs from the authorities loses their feet, or severe crimes, people are beheaded. I see the, I see why they are like they're experiencing stability issues. Under the old regime, they were they were probably one of the most stable of the nations, but at, with the regime having fallen apart, people are uh, taking the opportunity to. Express discontent. discontent, and without and without the undying and without the undying's army back back in the city, 
anymore, well, it makes things a lot harder. <laughs> Sounds about right. I don't think he's back yet. Can't believe Elwin's dead. Rest in peace, Elwin. <sighs> but they provided they don't receive any more delays, they should be here by the end of the week, and we can begin negotiations with them. Outside of that, we're I guess pretty much first. done meeting. We're Hogos done meeting the nearby on voice. Oh, uh, of course, the repairs to the pits. <laughs> Quite well, good? actually. The ah, good. Their lo last, last report, which came in last night, they are slightly ahead of schedule, and at the very least, the main arena should be fixed up by, by, the, by the time the White Bridge representative is here. Excellent, then we shan't have to fight the damaged arena. <laughs> yes. Also, they've they've made a point of cleaning it. Of course. So, Terrace, uh, so the Undying used the field mind, uses arm, used the army, the people of White Bridge. So the Very quiet, Taylor. Oh, hello. Yes, that's hello. better. There you go. Um, so the undying slash the field marshal used the, uh, used the, his army to bully the people of White Bridge into submission. Not so much direct bullying, but the threat, but the threats of the undying's army supporting the current ruling regime. Quote unquote, kept the people in line. So, without that threat, things have grown restless. Yes, people, the, the people of the city have been demanding reform. And those are the public execution people, correct? Yes. Well, continue at it. Well, hope, hope, hope to get what they want in terms of reform. As it, as it currently stands, uh, The city is in large amounts of unrest, and who's going to ultimately come out on top is an unknown. Well, so our current representative might not be our representative for very long. Well, as far as it as far as it goes, we've secured what we need to secure. Anything else we do is of our own volition and not out of necess necessity. Yes, the king. The king of Aetherian, he is hoping that the instability that's being caused in the Free City could, depending on how it turns, could spill out to to the na to the neighboring nations as well. Possibly looking at causing reforms there as well. Hmm. You know, we could tip our we could we could tip our friend in the night we could tip our friend in the Nightborn off. And maybe have them cause some havoc in the favor of the instability. Certainly a possibility. More more chaos and causes will cause more instability and means more people will rise up if anything were to happen. Ugh. Of course we'd probably want to do it on we'd probably want uh or Percy to do it to inform inform the born. Not us. Yes, Purse will probably. As she well, said, people don't pay attention to children. Indeed. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Welcome okay. back. No problem. It's okay, buddy. You okay? Yeah. Dog's okay. It's, he's just going crazy for some reason. No, dog. So, doggo. Dog. Heard something. Huh? Heard Heard something, didn't like it. Yeah, basically. Wanted to let you know that it didn't like it. Ems' dogs go 
off sometimes. Yeah. They do a heck of work. Alright, so. She's okay now, but yeah, I don't know what she was. What kind of dog do you have, Tyson? I think I showed a picture. It's a German Shepherd Wattweiler mix of some kind. Ooh, beautiful. So what did I miss? <laughs> uh, just discussing the next ambassadors coming and that they've got some uh, internal dis uh, unrest. Because, you know. Because uh, there's no longer an army looming over the old regime's back. And, um, are we offering their aid to us their aid to? Um, I mean, out of we actually are them. kind of thinking... I mean, we're kind of aiming to further destabilize the region. Because they're the, with the, they're the public execution people. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the people want the people want reform, so we are considering uh, accidentally letting it slip to the Nightborn that oh, these people are having some not great times with uh instability. Hope nothing. It hope would, nothing worse. It would, it would be it. a terrible if their times got even worse. It would be terrible for the for the current doctrine. If shit continued to go wrong. Oh no! Anyways. <laughs> I don't know if Gore would think of this since he's just Mr. Average Intelligence, but. Um, I'll, I'll tell I you how actually, Yeah. I'd actually consider looking into those bandits that attacked the, uh, the ambassador. <laughs> of all people. Like, you have know, probably a decently armed caravan. And see if they're, like, uh,. You know, defectors, or if they're actually just, you know, thugs. Yeah, we probably have to. We probably have to do. We probably have to outdo Elwin. Elwin do that. Yeah. Mr. Percent. First can do a lot, but not quite that much. Right. Right. Well, I mean, she if she could talk to the Nightborn, then the Nightborn can very well do it too. True. He's also a child, so. Because I mean, if they are, if they do end up being just like, oh, these are just opportunists, then maybe we could offer to wipe them out. Because yeah, they're just making everybody's lives worse, including the people. Um, but if they are, say, the people, like, but they're just outside the city because they couldn't stand it anymore, we could supply them instead. <laughs> Secretly. Secret. Secret weapons. You know. One secret, the we secret weapons. Secret weapons. all secret fucking weapons. weapons. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Fine, Sram. Yeah. Alright, so. I think it's a little bit early, but that's all I had actually planned for the session. Went through it a little bit quicker than I was expecting. So yeah, I uh, think that's where... We speed sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes we speed, speed sometimes we don't. Sometimes all I have prepped is half a session, sometimes I have two sessions prepped. What'll it be? I mean, Nobody knows. Been, uh, like two, over two hours, you know. Yeah, it's still two yeah, and a half hours. Not, not, bad. not bad for... Not bad for... That's actually, you know, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, I think that's where we will end today's session. I sense, I sense Thank the... Thank you all for joining and playing. Of course, it's nice to be back after four fucking weeks. I'm happy yes. we didn't have to make it a fifth. Hmm. Sorry, I had to make you know, schedule changes, but thank all you good. all for uh, accommodating. Schedule. I mean, we yeah, schedule don't... changes are almost always fine. So There's no reason. I mean, we accommodated you before in the past. There's no reason we should have accommodated you now. We we knew that this was going to be a thing because you warned us about it when we, I, when we were invited. <laughs> correct. Yeah. I did think it would be more more of it in the summer, but like less of it now. But <laughs> the, oh yeah. By the way, I guess we're we're not meeting next weekend because. Uh, well, uh, I mean that depends. Oh, that's up to you because I'm game. I don't particularly. I don't yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends on how you two are doing Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I think. I might be okay Jesus for Christ. Sunday again. Yeah. Well, let us know. 